Hi, Zach Couples here. Wanted to discuss the infrastructural angle today with you beautiful, sexy, outstanding people. Because there's a lot of talk about measuring the infrastructural angle and basing your exercise progressions off of that, but a lot of times people don't know what that is. Allow me to solve your problem today. Take a look at this picture right here. The infrasternal angle is measuring the lower thoracic opening. And the angle has its apex or its middle point at the xiphoid process. Infra means below sternum, infrasternal angle. So the first portion below the sternum is the xiphoid process. Using that as our apex point of the angle, we then outline the lower ribs. That will give us the infrasternal angle. And what our intent is by knowing this measure is appreciating how the non-sternal ribs move or what position they go into. Because ribs one through seven, due to their shared attachment at the sternum, move as a cohesive unit. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, which do not share an attachment at the sternum, the false ribs and the floating ribs, do not move as a cohesive unit. So we're trying to get a proxy measure for that via the infrasternal angle. And theoretically, this also tells us a little bit about what position the diaphragm is in at rest. Because as the angle widens or narrows, the diaphragm has to descend or dome. Here's how you measure it. Check out this video right here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the tips of my thumbs at the xiphoid process. That's forming the apex of the angle. The rest of my thumb is going to go right up against the angle of the ribs or the sides of the ribs. I'm not on top of them. I'm on the skin just underneath them. And I'm going to measure the angle that way. It doesn't have to be thumbs. I have big thumbs so I can use them, but you can also use any tips of the fingers. I've even used a goniometer so I can get an exact measure. But that is how you measure the infrasternal angle, and then you can make some very sound decisions from a warm-up or training standpoint if you have that piece of information. So go ahead, try it out with your clients, and as always, give it a shot!